Go inside, go inside. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not sure if we should go inside to warm up here, man. Alright, we are here today checking out an upcoming Arctic survival game by the name of Frigid. Now, this right here, assuming it develops the way I hope it does, could be quite a bit of a small little banger for us in the future. Because not only are we dealing with a, you know, frosty coldness survival wildlife, apparently there's also quite a bit of an influence from the thing in this game, such as alien beings perhaps invading other bodies and you're not really sure who's on your side and who's infected, who is not. So assuming that develops into the actual survival gameplay elements, could be something very intriguing. Keep in mind though, it's very early in development right now. It's barely going through the Kickstarter process. What I'm playing right now is available to you guys as well. I have a link for you down below. This is Red Eagle inbound. Do you copy? Over. I want these samples in the lab as soon as possible. Frigid is meant to be a challenging survival exploration game. Waypoints can be turned on at the beginning of the level. Yeah, so I like the fact that this apparently also has a Shit, chance to... What just happened? You have a chance to remove waypoints or have them on. I have them off just so I want to go out there and see if I can survive on my own. Now keep in mind, because it's very early in development, optimization, everything about it is going to be kind of janky here for now, but we'll see. We'll see. This is how these things start sometimes, you know? Hypothermia risk, maintain your body heat. Anything over here that we could find? Jacket. Put on clothing, equipment slots, you got it. So we'll pick this up here for now. Anything else that we could acquire here? To use the medic, right click and open it. Okay. First you gotta let me pick it up first, alright? There it is. Ending in the front. Can't look for snacks <laughs> on the windshields or anything like that, like it's um, the long dark? Apparently not. Can I pick you guys up? Oh, I can. This isn't the way. I better head back. I know it's not the way, but um, I'm noticing a couple of things we could probably use for crafting, my friend, okay? Don't question me. Let's uh, bring this up really quickly. And did you put the jacket on? You did. Excellent. So the medic's here. We could apparently pop this open, which will give us some medicine for health and stamina and also some flare gun ammunition. Perfect. Was that a squirrel or a... It's a giant-ass squirrel. That squirrel is as big as I am. <laughs> Feel this alien thing's out of control here. We got frozen water, so we have to unfreeze out a campfire probably to actually drink it. Okay. I like it. What do we got down here? This is the way. Clothing. And a gas can. Okay. Well, I don't know what the way is, my dude, but I'm trying to pick up some items here for us to survive. So if you could just stop being so negative about everything, it'd be nice. Oop. We might have shelter here. Getting really, really cold. There we go. Oop. We have a campfire. And we could burn some items in here. Perfect. You see all the things that we found already, dude? We could easily use them to burn some stuff up and warm ourselves up. And you're over here like, oh, is that where you're supposed to go? Got some logs. Got some paper. And a bandy as well. Now, I don't think we're injured at the moment, so actually, apparently a little bit of injury. From the crash itself, perhaps. Okay. Use it on yourself. Be in tip-top shape in case apparently some wolf alien infected thing shows up. Okay, so now let's set up campfire because we are indeed freezing. We can also unfreeze that water. How are we doing with thirst? We're never good when it comes to hunger and thirst, thankfully. So let's fuel this up by putting some wood sticks in there and ignite. Our, our clothes looks rather torn up here. Is it just me or is it clipping through the model? I'm not sure. Like, what happened to her jacket? Why is it so jacked up? It was just in her vehicle. Who knows? 
Alright, so the winter beanies is about there. We're completely warm now, so we're fine. I want this to be done so I could put this on. Alright, so that's good now. And let's put this in number one. You don't necessarily have to be there. Oh yeah, while we're here, how about we put down the frozen water so we can unfreeze it and drink it if we need to. And apparently because we put that little beanie on, now it's kind of obscuring your vision a little bit. Alright. Not sure exactly if I feel good about that, but... Hey, it is what it is. Now then, there is apparently a torn up creature here. It's a small little bunny. I guess we'll go ahead and um, take the meat left over. I mean, <laughs> don't you do that? Find a random corpse in the street and basically pick it apart for goods. I'm hearing wolves, which is a problem, but hey, just in case it get froggy, we do got... Holy Jesus! What is that? What the... F oh, we got this little torch right here. <laughs> don't come close, wolf. I will swipe at you with my torch. Okay, I don't think we need that right now, so how about we just, uh, put it away? Uh, you're wasting it, Falcon. Put it away. Okay. Don't forget to, oh, it's quite a bit of a board sign right there. Driving down the highway, trying to figure out where to get off, and you see that uh, Kickstarter thing right there. You're like, wait a minute, I just want directions. Freezing. You are freezing. Oh boy. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put that ignite. Okay, warm back up. You know what? We're here. Let's go ahead and put some some of that to cook up. I mean, cook all of them. I'll be back anyway. And that's about it. I want to go out and explore, but we shall come back to pick up our food, obviously. I think the wood sticks is enough for that. For the hatchet, not until we get some more scrap metal we can make this happen. I would also like a large backpack, but that requires blankets and pillowcases as well, which we're not going to find out here. I guess we got to find civilization for that. Our first bit of food has been cooked. Let's go ahead and uh, eat that right there. I'll save the water for later. Oh, okay. Now it's getting bigger. We went from foxes apparently to elk. Surprisingly enough, the um, elk gave me less food than uh, a fox remain, oddly enough. Oh, jeez Louise. I mean, what the hell was that? No, no, dude, no, no. You didn't say anything about freaking raptors from Jurassic Park, okay? That was a raptor from Jurassic Park, all right? Dude, this is like Newman about to get decked by one of these dudes from the back or something. Okay. I mean, you have to imagine that these corpses becoming more and more apparent as we travel is just kind of like an indication of the game being like, okay, you, you better be prepared. Uh, okay, we have another campfire, which is nice. Ooh, scrap metal. We might be able to make that axe soon. We need to find a warmer piece of it, though. Um... <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm halfway to temperature. I want to go back to pick up the food that we were left cooking over there. But in the process of doing that, I have apparently lost half of my temperature there. So I'm going to run back really quickly and make that happen. Do we have... No, we don't have two water. That is a freaking raptor. Don't tell me it's not. And here we go. This rabbit is apparently just warming a tiny over here. Okay, for now let's continue, and hopefully we are out of the woods now, it does seem. Literally and uh, figuratively speaking as well, because that raptor noise is getting very close to us. So, so we got a road now. Seems to be a vehicle over there, another one of these Kickstarter direction things for us, and ooh, bigger. Okay, here we go. We have ourselves our first little hut to check out, little cabin, whatever. Uh, wolves are sounding a lot closer too. And another big corpse for us to get, uh, obviously, you know, big ass animal that gives you one piece of meat. And more sticks here. Okay, hold on. Let's collect all this stuff here. And let's see about getting inside. Anybody home? <laughs> it trips me out whenever he starts randomly speaking. Hello? Anybody home? Okay. Look, we're inside. Oh, backpack? Yo, let's go. Did you put that on automatically? Yes, you did. Oh, look at our inventory is grown now. Perfect. Okay, so. Our first cabin, I'm happy about this. Let's see, are we... At least we're not dropping in temperature anymore. Maybe if we had a shovel, we could dig this out and apparently get the campfire happening. That's going to maintain our body heat, but apparently not right now. Can we make this? No, we're missing scrap plastic. 
And we're still missing a bit for the hatchet, too. We picked the books. I imagine we could probably burn those for a fire. Oh, the blankets! So you are what's required to, yeah, make the backpack. Perfect. Oh, and these will be the clothes. Oh, the curtains are needed for the small backpack of my brain. Although we just found one now, so I guess we technically don't need it anymore. Bandy, books, and a note. What are you gonna tell me? Notice, we are too old for this. The snowstorm won't let down. The snow is getting deeper and gets getting colder. The power will probably go out any minute now. It's better to leave now. I don't have the strength to take care of both of us. We have decided to take the evacuation. I have managed to close up and secure the place by storing gas and wood in the shed. Gas, huh? Well, I mean, if we're looking for gas to get our vehicle up and running, I guess that'd be a good spot for us to check out. Evacuation, that's what he talked about right now, huh? Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently there's gas in the shed next door. That's all we do need, correct? Now, we did just pick up some more water, but it was, I think, frozen as well, so we do have to set up a campfire to get that up and running. I mean, can we set up a campfire in here, I wonder? I mean, do we run the risk of burning this place down? We can. <laughs> I'll try it. I'll have the water and some whatever food we have left over here cook. We'll go to the shed next door and see if we can find some gasoline. Maybe even more plastic or at least scrap metal to make the hatchet so we have a weapon. There's a campfire right there. Let's put this down to number six here for now. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Just in the middle of the cabin. Uh, a cabin made out of wood, mind you. Um, let's place you here. Let's put down some wood sticks right there and ignite. And the meat as well. Okay. I shall return. Please do not burn down while I'm gone, okay? No, no, stop putting the campfire down. I guess we'll close you down as well so you don't get too cold in there. Okay, so here we have more wooden logs. I guess I'll pick those up momentarily. More of these sticks. I feel like we have a lot of sticks already as it is. This is the shed that I talked about. Ooh, I do see metal. I think we should be able to make the hatchet require sticks. Ah, well, we have a couple of sticks outside. That's fine. More logs here. There's the gas kind of talked about. No hatchet, though? No hatchet. I guess he really wants me to make my own hatchet, huh? That's fine. We got sticks here. More logs as well. I mean, at some point, I think I have to worry about how much I'm carrying, right? Because I'm carrying a bunch of logs, it feels like. And I'm still picking up more because I'm a wild man and things stops me. Hatchet, we need one more wooden stick. Well, you know what? I think I had sticks here, right? So, yes. Let's put the logs in. in here momentarily. You're still cooking, that's fine. Do we need to eat right now? Eh, might as well eat. The water is good for later. And let's make this hatchet. 30 seconds to make it happen, good. So that's good. Um, in terms of clothing, we got everything except something for our hands, but I don't have apparently a recipe for gloves, so... We have just about made everything in the tent. We can make the tent too. Yeah, sure, why not make it? Okay, so we have our axe. As a matter of fact, pull it out now. We have our axe. We have a tent. Now let's go over, I'm going to say, and is there anything else over through there? It seems there's one more house over there. And this road might actually curve into the road I was at originally, but I decided to cut through. So we can check out this here. There's also some sort of shack behind it. And then I'm going to go and... Oh, these are just restrooms. I mean, if you're thirsty, you want to dive in there, good luck to you, right? Bandage. <laughs> I thought that was TP the way it was set up. Well, I mean, if you don't got toilet paper, you might as well use bandies, right? Check this out. You, you, oh, there it is. I was going to be like, you know, you logically didn't tell me that I have an axe and you don't let me smash this down, but you can. Ooh, canned food. Let's go. Small scrap board. Not even sure what that's for, but hey, we got it. Not bad. I mean, I don't think that was actually used for any of the recipes we have right now, but that's cool. All right, so we got this. Let's run down towards that car that we saw over there. We got gas. I mean, with any luck, maybe we could kind of gas it up and get out of here. Okay, here we are. I got to so, get out of here. Well, you guess what? We had to actually be here. You need to find something to cut down this tree debris. Oh, you mean like the axe I literally have in my hand right now? Find an axe. Zero of one. Find an axe. Zero of one. Find an axe zero one. Do not see me with the axe in my hand. Okay. Ooh. 
broken small backpack. Oh. Well, I guess we don't need it, but there was no items in here either way. So do we just smash this down and get through or what? Yep. Out of the way, my friend. Okay, hold on. We need to get inside really quickly. And by quickly, do you mean now or later? I just wanted to peek what's around here. Okay, nothing. Go inside, go inside. Oh, wait. Oh, I'm not sure if we should go inside to warm up here, man. Flashlight? Sure. Oh, f freezing, freezing. Oh, it's, at least it's warm in here because apparently my temperature just keeps going up by itself. So maybe somebody is here. Problem is, are they friendly? Are they infected? Clothing? I'll take that. Alright. Let's see. Crafting recipes. Yes, I've already done crafting, but thank you. I should warm up the cabin. Sleeping bag? Oh. Oh, sweet. Yeah, go for it. So, I mean, we got plenty of logs right now, but let's use the wooden sticks. Why not? Ignite that. Anything needs to be cooked? Not particularly. But let's go ahead and take the timer now to put this uh, flashlight. At least as a number three. That over there. Yeah, it's fine. That should warm it up in here. You have successfully escaped freezing to death. Get some sleep and recover. You'll need the energy for tomorrow. Oh, okay. It's going to set the sleeping bag down, huh? Well, we'll go ahead and sleep right next to the fire, huh? huh? So it wants me to sleep. Let's go to sleep. Maybe something happens here in the middle of the night. <laughs> Who knows? Um... <laughs> Oh, in case you were wondering what happens uh, after you go to sleep, it just kicks you to the main menu. I guess that's the end of the demo. <laughs> a little forewarning would have been nice, I guess, but... There you guys have it. It's still the fridge. Did I, did I luck out and not run into an enemy? Or were there no enemies in this demo? I'm not sure. I mean, it sounded like they were all around me. I could hear those freaking raptors and the wolves getting closer, but apparently... No enemy. So I made that axe for... No, well, no, I, I needed the axe to get through the rubbish, so there is that, but... There you guys have it. This is a demo. It's available to you guys too. Keep in mind there's actually a more advanced demo, but for that you have to sign up for the playtest and if they select you, you get access to it. But it's a free sign up, so it'll be in the link in the store page that I have in the description down below. I mean, I would have liked to have seen an enemy, but um, again, if you can kind of keep the survival appeal with the thing, it's something I'll definitely look into because I'm a big sucker for the thing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.